What's good, people? This your boy, Hell Real out here. I'm in uh, Jenks, Oklahoma. I shot up from uh, Houston to uh, University Park, uh, Illinois, actually Moni, Illinois. Got unloaded and then I uh, got reloaded in uh, University Park, Illinois. Okay. I thought they was coming to tell me that I was unloaded. I was loaded. And I still got a red light. Whatever. So, um, I got reloaded in University Park, Illinois. And then I shot over to Loveland, Colorado. From Loveland, Colorado. I went to Windsor, Colorado. And that load I delivered out here in um, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Went from Tulsa, Oklahoma to now Jinx, Oklahoma. Which is going to take me back down to Houston. And I deliver the load tomorrow. I think I did pretty good on the run. I did uh, less than 3,000 miles. Um, brought in about 6,200. Spent about uh, 1,300 in fuel. And generally, when I base, I, I don't I don't do fuel cards. I, uh, I pay cash. I just uh, stack my money. Did what I had to do, and I make sure I set up set aside a few thousand dollars just for fuel expenses uh, every week. Um, and so that's what it is. I'm down to like 17 hours left on my 70. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's about a week. And I've been out, and I'm on my way home. I'm going to go home. I'm going to take my 34. I'm gonna go to the air brake place and get my governor fixed. It's gonna cost about 50 bucks. Go get that fixed and then I got a, a coolant leak. Nothing major, it's not leaking from the uh, manifold. It's not leaking from the engine block or from the um, radiator. It's actually a hose on there that's leaking and I just gotta buy a new hose, short hose about that long. Uh, God damn it. Every time I get started on my video, somebody want to call me, but they ain't talking about nothing. It's probably a telemarketer because anybody that's calling me that I know, they know it's programmed in my phone. But it's a, it's a short hose about that long uh, right there in the front. I don't have to pay nobody to take that off. Um, and then there's a... Um, a... Uh, filter on the side of my ISX motor that's leaking so I just take that off and I got the other one right here I'm gonna go up to the uh, KW dealership in Houston when I get home and I'm gonna um, go buy the uh, the little thing the little tool to uh, take it off but that's it right there Fleet guard. Yep. Bam. So, I keep tools in my truck just in case anything happens on the side of the road. Maybe it's an easy fix I can do it myself. I don't have to go to the TA. Like this hose that's on my truck. I. It's not going to be a difficult task taking that off. And it's right there in the front where I can easily slide up under there, get to it, and put on my my grease, my grease clothes, get up under there with a pan. Uh, once my motor cool off and everything, after I go and get this uh, governor fix for my air brakes and stuff. And take that hose off, put the new hose on there, tighten down the claps. Boom, that's done. I'm gonna get the little tool that I gotta get the, the uh, filter off with. Take that off. Let the fluid drain and um, take it off and put a new one on there. Simple as that, one, two, three. It's easy. Yep. So I'm out here, Mega Transport. I got my wife at home. Uh, she's been doing real good, excellent job. I'm so proud of you, baby. With uh, booking loads. Uh, 
it was a slow process at first, but you know, once she overcame her uh, fear of talking to people that she don't know, and I understand that, um, you know, she's a nurse and that's what she's been doing for about 10, 12 years. And, um, you know, this is new. This is new for, uh, she's still a nurse, by the way. She haven't quit a day job, but um, I've just been showing her how to talk uh, to the brokers. We got on the phone a couple of times. I got on the phone a couple of times. I put it on speakerphone. And uh, you gotta excuse me, I'm over here looking at this truck backing into this dock and got people walking back and forth, employees of this place. Uh, but I got on speakerphone so she can hear how the conversation go when I'm on the phone with the brokers. Uh, so she can get an idea of what to say um, when she's on a, on a call. Um, I pay for the debt load board because it's loaded with information and the um, the quick rate search is more accurate than any other rate searches that I tried like one, two, three low board. I compare both of them together side by side and hands down, debt wins, hands down. There's no denying that. DAT got a ton of information. And when I started this authority, coming from an owner, op owner operator, I was over at Roadrunner in the Moto in uh, South Holland, Illinois, where I used to live in the south side of Chicago, Harvey World. Turn up. So uh, I went from over there, and you know, uh, it was time. I wanted my own authority. Uh, I watch other YouTube videos and I see some people, you know, let their authority go. Some people uh, still got their authority. As for me, I really don't like people telling me what to do. Uh, that's that's the uh, biggest issue with me. Um, yeah, I pay more expenses but nobody can tell me when to work or um, blow my phone up ask me when I'm coming back to work or whatever uh, I make more uh, I love building my relationship and my uh, rapport with uh, the brokers that I deal with uh, I deal with TQL Coyote JB Hunt is one of the um, brokers that I do a lot of work with. Uh, I love how they handle business. It's like every time I get on the phone with somebody from JB Hunt, one of the brokers from JB Hunt, they are just excellent people to work with. And I had a, a issue with JB Hunt, and I'm not gonna get off into that right now, but previously when I was a company driver and I was trying to look for a job, they denied me for a um, uh, certain reasons that I'm not about to get into but you know they told me I couldn't get on with them till 2019 I said well by 2019 I'm gonna have a couple of trucks by then but uh, at first I had an issue with that but you know I had to let that go I'm about business and about making money so um, I let that go and uh, they've been cool. They've been cool. They've been real cool. I, I mean, for example, like lumper fees. I get to a delivery and it requires a lumper. I call them up. They either they already knew who the lumper was. I didn't have to go in there with the tax ID number. I didn't have to go in there with the company name. I didn't even have to go in there with the price. They already knew what it was. They probably just didn't pay it out yet, just in case it may have been more or less than what 
they already knew the price was going to be for the lumber service. And if it wasn't that, then they got an 800 number specifically for lumber. I love that. I call them up. I give them the name, the text ID number. Boom. It's done. If they didn't give me an express code, they sent the money straight to them. They like you good to go. Uh, other places, you know, it take about 20, 30 minutes to uh, get the express code or whatever. Like Coyote, um, they it usually took me take me about 20 to 30 minutes to get the express code or whatever. But it's never an issue. Um, I get it and get it done. Um, so yeah, like. I, I, li I like working with J.B. Hunt. They got plenty of freight and they're easy to work with. They got a low board. You get on a low board and you just negotiate right there on the low board. You don't even have to call them up or anything. I mean, from time to time, I have to call them and, and, and talk about, you know, certain things uh, that's associated with the low. Or maybe there's a misunderstanding between the negotiation part with nego negotiating the rate however it's never a problem with negotiating the rate because you know you say you want 1250 they saying they want a thousand okay they might go up to a thousand fifty I want 19 uh what I say 12 1250 I want 12 now you know so they 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 pretty good people to work with. Uh, Coyote's a good uh, broker to work with. Uh, I got a guy over there by the name of Kyle, and uh, me and him got a good relationship. Uh, he works with me and with getting the best rate that I need. Um, so I work good with him and TQL. You know. You don't know who you're talking to over there. You just never know. So it's it's not consistent with a, a, a certain broker over there at TQL. But, uh, you know, we get it done. We get it done. But my wife is doing good. I'm showing her how to uh, book loads and talk to the brokers, how to look up the rate. So her negotiation power is stronger than, you know, trying to figure it out you know i got everything in the office that we need there's no if ands or buts about it this is mega transport baby that's what it's about you know i take my money and i reinvest my money simple as that i don't go out spending my money up uh on uh stuff that i don't need or things that i want that i don't need uh I got a lot of things. I've had a lot of things. So I'm not like big on going out to get uh, something that I don't need. I'm trying to keep up with the Joneses or whatever. So anyhow, you know, so that's pretty much it. She's doing a terrific job. I'm very happy that everything is setting into her mental um uh, and now she's evolving. She's uh, working with her personality now. You know, she's becoming a part of it. So that's a good thing, you know, because she's a great person. She's a beautiful person. Uh, she got an awesome, beautiful personality. So. With that being said, you know, that just an asset to the business. So, you know, I'm going to get loaded. Well, I'm getting loaded. They should be almost done. And it's going to be time to start this clock and hit it to Houston. So I can go home and take my 34 and get these minor issues fixed on my rig. And then I'm back out the road bumping my Jeezy my motivational music 
my Gucci, my Tupac. I got a little TV back here. I caught it on sale at uh, Walmart. 24 inch. You can see it. 24 inch smart TV. And I'm an Android user. So that was great. I got the Samsung Note. I screen mirror my Netflix to the TV and I kick back. Provided I'm in an area where there's good uh, service, internet service. And those other times when it's not, I sit, I meditate, I read and research and get caught up on things and then I'm out of here. That's pretty much what it is. So, if you got any questions, drop your comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Mega Transport, signing out.